Expressions in After Effects, they're magical. They can save you a bunch of time and automate tasks for you. Not only that, but you can unlock some secret powers that After Effects has. And today you'll learn some of the most commonly used and useful expressions that I know. Hey guys, this is Ina and let's get this thing started. Awesome. So the first expression that we are going to talk about today and the expressions that I'm going to show you in this tutorial will be linked in the description below so you can download them for free. And also I will try to show you some uh, real life examples from videos that uh, we have created uh, where we use this expression. So it's not only just the expressions, but also how you can apply them. The first expression is the number counter, uh, which is a pretty cool expression. So I'm going to show you how you can do this. First, create a new text layer and the way you add an expression is by holding out. In this case, you have to open up the text and then source text and then hold out and click on the stopwatch and then you can paste the expression. All the expression tags are um, in the description below. You can download them. And so then you can just place your expression and we will need to make some adjustments here. So if we open up the expression, um, as you can see, we have a percentage sign at the end of the text we would like to remove that. So just simply go here and remove that. And then you can make changes to the count duration. Um, right now it's five seconds. So let's change that to four. And you can also change the, uh, the beginning count and the stop count. So that's the number at the start and at the end of your animation. I'm gonna ch change this to 50 and I want to make it start at 30. Let me just pull that here. And this is how the animation looks and it will count for four seconds. Now here, if you go back to the expression, we can, for example, add a plus sign and it will appear after the, the numbers. We can add a percentage or we can add whatever we want. So that's the first expression. So now let's take a look at this bounce animation. In a lot of animations that we create, we have this bounce effect and I'm just going to show you how to create this with an expression. Let's add two keyframes uh, for the scale. Just make it start at zero and then 100%. So super simple animation for the scale. And now let's hold out again and paste this bounce expression over here. And let's see how that looks. Okay, so here is our bounce. But again, we might want to make some changes. For example, we can change the amplitude to 0.8. And yeah, that will make our animation kind of frantic. So uh, we will just change the frequency here to one. And this is how it looks. And now let's take a look at another expression with the same file. That will be the wiggle. And that wiggle is a looping animation. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to use the same file. I'm just going to click P on the keyboard so I can see the position. And then I'm going to paste my wiggle expression. And I'm just going to parent this to the other layer. And yeah, this is how the wiggle looks. Again, we might want to make some changes. The amplitude can change to 60, for example. And yeah, we'll have a, a different amplitude. Or if you want to make your animation super frantic, uh, just change the frequency to six, for example, and this is how it will look. So make changes until you're happy with your wiggle. The next expression would be the elastic expression. So first, I'm just going to add two keyframes for the position, just two super simple keyframes. And then again, I'm going to hold out and paste the elastic expression. This is the expression. Now we might want to make some changes. Again, we might change the amplitude. This is how it will look. And if we change the period of elastic, uh, that will just make it a bit smoother. And again, you can play with these settings until you're happy with your animation. The next expression is a pretty cool one. I recently discovered it actually. And this is what I call the Pac-Man expression, although I think it's called the grid uh, expression. You don't have to add keyframes for this. Just click P, open up the position, hold out and paste the expression. And so it creates this very cool uh, animation that um, it reminds me a little bit of Pac-Man. And again, you can make changes if you need to.
This expression is pretty cool as well. I'm going to open up the position keyframes and I'm going to add two basic keyframes for the position. Then I'm going to paste this expression and this creates this a very cool kind of stop motion animation. So if you're working on stop motion video, I think you'll find this expression really useful. And the last expression is the blink expression. So if you take a look at the keyboard over here, this is how I animated this. So let me show you how that's done. So I'm just going to select a few uh, buttons from the keyboard, um, duplicate that and change their color. Uh, and then I'm going to add some opacity keyframes to that. Just make them start at zero and then 100. And then I am going to add the expression and then I'm just going to copy and paste it uh, for every layer. Now we can make changes again. So the blink rate can change. Uh, that would change the frequency of the blink. So let me change that to five. And then I'm going to make the change for the rest of the buttons as well. And this is how the animation looks. These are my top expressions. Let me know if you like them in the comments below. And don't forget to download our After Effects expression cheat sheet. It's in the description below and you can just copy and paste your expression in your next animation project. Thank you for your time and see you next week.